Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the best play in Madden 25, and it is in the Colts offensive playbook, and the play is going to be double post. We're going to be going over a couple different really effective setups for this play and kind of explain why this is the best play in the game this year. And if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, it's going to be in our school community. Cool part about the school community, it's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of our college and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we drop while your membership is active. So if you're not a member yet, you can sign up today for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description below. So double post is really effective where we run this with our bunch to the short side of the field. I'm going to show you a couple different things about this play that makes it really, really effective. First thing I want to show you is a uh, cover four quarters beater. So basically all we're going to do is we're just going to streak this right side outside player. And if they are in match coverage, a lot of times this can basically just bomb the match coverage over the top. And this circle receiver will essentially one play touchdown the match coverage. So what they're going to have to start doing over there is they're going to have to start uh, deep halving that middle guy. Another one of my favorite match beaters, let's go over that real quick first, is this secondary setup that I like out of this play. You could do this out of any play in Colts, uh, but it is really effective out of this specific play because you have the C right on the left, is to post the tight end. You can stem him up once or two, one or two ticks. Um, you know, so basically post the tight end. Let's say we stem him up to about 10, 15 yards. Streak this outside receiver or the slot receiver and then corner route the outside receiver and stem him all the way down. So you see this is what the play looks like. If you wanted to create this out of any play, you could then just drag this backside guy. But this is really good against match coverage. A lot of times the R1 in the slot receiver is going to get open for a one play score. So as you see, it's going to be very difficult for your opponent to consistently run match coverage on you uh, with a couple of different plays uh, or a couple of different play setups that we have out of this. So oftentimes you're going to get into man or zone coverages. So if they're running man coverage, one of my favorite ways uh, to set this play up is to simply drag this this uh, slot receiver and just snap the ball. The first read is always as tight end. It's one of the best man beating flat routes in the game. And it's really good because if they shade underneath, which is pretty common this year to see a shaded down man coverage underneath, what you're going to see is that when this tight end cuts up field, he will beat a shade down man technique. So you see here, shade down, he cuts up field and he's able to beat that. So the only way they can cover that is by not pressing or not shading underneath. So you'll get a lot more of this, you know, more like a cover one robber, uh, or, you know, just basically, you know, shade over top type defense. And so when they start to do stuff like that, then this is where your drag routes, your little underneath crossing routes become super open when they're not uh, getting shaded underneath. So these routes are really good against, against man coverage. Now, another route that's really good against man coverage is this outside receiver. Now, I do have Slay lit up, but it should be for zone coverage specifically. So we'll see if this, uh, this post, as I get a double team split from that, Defensive end or defensive tackle there was actually kind of crazy. Let me see if I can show this to you again here. And this is shaded down man coverage, so it might actually bag it. That's actually – Nolan Smith is going insane. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, we're have to spy him and get him out of the play just to show you the route. Practice mode, the sheds are just un unbelievable and, and just crazy. But you'll see, when he cuts to the inside, a lot of times he beats man. Um, the best man coverage for that route is shaded underneath. Shaded down, shade underneath man coverage. If they shade, let's say they shade outside or, you know, they shade like over top or anything like that, then you'll see that this post will get a little cleaner separation, nice sharp cut to the middle of field. And this post is also a really effective route against zone. So in this game, you don't really need to use clear out routes to beat zone coverage. So what I like about this play here is it stretches the defense very well horizontally. These underneath drags are super open, but you also have this, you also have this post route. And what happens a lot of times is people will basically shade their yellow zones underneath and so or their yellow zone will suck down to the drag, right? If that occurs, then you'll see that this throw can kind of get into a really soft spot against cover three. And a lot of times this can actually be a touchdown. So the main counter to that and the main thing that somebody's going to do in terms of defensively is they're going to get into this deal where they're deep halfing this, this uh, outside, outside corner. And this is going to put this, this guy in conflict. So now 
this flat defender has to guard the drag, but he also has to guard the C route, and so he's not going to be able to guard both. So see here, he's going to choose the drag, so we just throw the C route. And, you know, even if it is an actual third or even a quarter for that matter, if they're shading down, which most people are going to shade their zone coverage down, um, you'll see that this C route could be thrown uh, consistently. Now, another route that is kind of new to the game this year that is worth discussing is going to be the speed out. So with the speed out, you can put this guy on a hot routed speed out, and then you can stem him to about 15 yards. So you see about right here, like about that depth. So this is going to kind of attack the same area of the field as the C route. It's just going to do it a lot quicker, and it's a lot better at beating man coverage. And and you could even, I mean, go as far as like a about a 15, 17 ish yard uh, C route or. Um, out route, and then if the, it, it can still pull those purples back, and that's where you can dump it down to your drag. So if you're playing someone that's playing like stock zone coverage, let's say, you know, just coming out, just basically playing stock zones, this is where what we want to wear out is this underneath. So please take that underneath drag on both sides. They can both be thrown against those yellow zones because the yellow zones this year back up a ton. And so only – only really when your opponent starts to shade underneath are they going to be able to defend um, are they going to be able to defend those those underneath routes right those underneath drags so what we want to look to then okay we see oh shade underneath well now that's where that speed out becomes really helpful now with the speed out as far as how to throw it um, it is a little bit of a thing that you need to kind of practice but basically about a I don't like to free form it I like to just throw it um, you can kind of freeform it, and you see you catch, you get that animation. It's super hard to guard, and that's a quarter, right? That's a quarter. That's a half. Doesn't really matter what zone they have over there. But this is one of my other favorite uh, setups for this play because this just does a really good job. It gives us a high low on the left, a high low on the right, and a high low in the middle of the field. As you see, if they come underneath of those yellows, that post is always going to cut in front of those deep blues, right? Now, another one of my favorite setups, this is a little bit more of like a blitz-beating setup. I love this play. But basically, we're going to block the running back so we can have some protection. We're going to streak the slot, and we're going to drag this backside receiver. If you wanted to, you could do double drags again um, because you really don't need this clear out. But the reason I'm going to use this is because seam streaks this year are really good. You just basically, as course as I throw a pick on it, um, you basically just pass lead down into the inside. So you're not free forming it. You're just passing it down the inside. Cover four will do the best, um, in my opinion. But typically, you see here, just pass lead down inside, click on, and you kind of cut it off really well. And then the other thing that this does, specifically against like a cover four press, base press cover four, or something like that, the, um, the post is going to get way over the top of that quarter. And you can actually kind of bomb the cover four defense with this as well. So this play just all in all does a really good job of beating man, beating zone. Um, it's just a really effective play. And there's a lot of quick snap setups out of this, like something like this basic high low. Um, this crosser gets into a really good part of the field. Specifically, what a lot of people like to do is a lot of people like to play basically play like a cover two to one side. If you were to put this crosser on the field, this, um, this crosser will kind of get into, he'll kind of cross the face of that deep half and kind of throw it over the top of a cloud flat defender. Another one of my like kind of underrated tips for this play that a lot of people don't really utilize is stemming the running back route. You can actually stem this route up and down. A lot of people don't do this. Um, so what I like to do is stem it to about five yards and then what you'll see, um, specifically against man coverage, is it'll just beat man a lot better. And it really just kind of prevents it from running in and bumping random players. So it's a little thing, but I think it's like kind of a cool little technique. You can also stem it all the way down and kind of create like a makeshift screen between him and the tight end, where the yellow zones are pretty much never play him. Um, so that's another thing that I like to do out of this play. There's just so many things you can do with double pose. That's why it's the best play in the game and a super underrated setup is to start motioning this guy out and then kind of getting that high-low read with the C route. You'll see here, and then, you know, maybe kind of get a backside drag or something like that. But, yeah, this is, um, this is double post. This is the most powerful play in the game, and this is several different variations 
of how I and other people, of course, like to run this play. If you guys want to learn my entire Colts offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description to our school community for just 10 bucks. You'll get access to everything over there. So you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.